Welcome back, uh, dear viewers, and you are still watching Cairo Local Time. And in this segment of our program, we will talk about New Alamein City as it is expected to become a year-round tourist destination. Today, we are joined over the phone by Mr. Ahmed Badri, is a tourism expert and is going to tell us more about uh, the most important uh, touristic sites here in Al Alamein City. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon uh, to you and all uh, the audience. Thank you very much. So, uh, Mr. Ahmed, the New Alamein city is uh, not only a summer retreat overlooking the Mediterranean, but also the home to thriving uh, tourism, also industry and housing compounds all year round. Uh, can you tell us uh, more about uh, uh, Al Alamein city, to what extent it is attractive to tourists? Well, uh, the, the decision of building a new Alamein city was uh, a brilliant idea. Uh, as you know, uh, the north coast of Egypt is uh, a very long yes. coastline by the Mediterranean, hmm. uh, hundreds of uh, kilometers uh, from the uh, eastern border to the western border of Egypt. Uh, and it's overlooking some of the most amazing uh, scenery and uh, water in, in the world. You know, the Mediterranean and Egypt is really, if you compare it to some other countries overlooking also the Mediterranean, the Egyptian beaches are by far much better uh, in terms of uh, quality of water and the weather uh, year-round. Unfortunately, uh, this was not, uh, we didn't use that coastline uh, the way it should be throughout the year. I mean, just two or three months uh, mm. in the summertime, you know, for Egyptians to go and enjoy this, just two or three months. Uh, but if we look uh, uh, the countries around us, uh, yes. the same sea, the Mediterranean, we are using it uh, throughout the year, even in the winter time, summer time. Of course, uh, they are working 12 months because they have uh, cities uh, that are working throughout the year, and we have they used it uh, to uh, create attractions for the tourists uh, to come throughout the year, whether uh, we have yes. uh, conventions or shows or uh, amusement parks or uh, shops, you know, whatever uh, the attractions are. So I'm really glad with the new Alamein city uh, because it's uh, avoiding this. We are creating a city that is working throughout the year that will bring in uh, people, uh, whether Egyptians or uh, tourists from all over throughout the year, you know, uh, the summer, the winter, uh, all year around. Uh, and that's, that's because of creating some attractions uh, like the new uh, Alamein Towers, which are, uh, became the uh, landmark of this uh, place, and also having uh, universities, having uh, amusement park, something like the Disneyland that will bring everybody uh, from uh, all around us. Uh, so, and there, by creating other attractions, you know, along uh, the time uh, that we are building the city, or creating other attractions, this will bring even more uh, tourists. So definitely, uh, having this city is uh, really true right decision. And also, there is something else that uh, not everybody is aware of, something that we should also have. Uh, we have to add it to the history of the city, and we have to promote it that uh, just five or six years ago, this entire area was, uh, as we called it, death field. They were... This land was full with uh, land mines uh, that were, were left from the World War II. Yes. Uh, Actually, it has a historical the... importance as well. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. And nearby, there are the uh, tombs of the, uh, uh, you know, the 
forces that were uh, having this uh, Battle of Alamein in, in, in 1942, mm. we having the uh, British uh, tombs, we're having the uh, Italian, the German. So it is a uh, uh, site, an attraction uh, also for people to go and visit. And uh, we should also build around it, uh, you know, and have like... Um, a visitor center or something, you know, like that, that is uh, telling the story of the place and telling the story of uh, the Egyptian army uh, fighting against this, uh, this field and how did they do this miracle by removing all these landmines and, uh, you know, converting Alamein from the death land to the dream land. So this is a very, very big story as well that we should uh, use in, uh, for, uh, for marketing Al new Alamein. So yes, I, I have to say this, that was a brilliant idea. Yes. So Mr. Ahmed, in your opinion, what kind of tourists uh, will be interested in Al Alamein city? Uh, well, people now, uh, tourism now is more about uh, uh, leisure. They want yes. to go and enjoy, you know, uh, scenery. They want to enjoy uh, the beaches, uh, the water, the shopping, the nightlife. Uh, so that's why we should really invest more in these actions: nightlife, yes. shopping, uh, malls. Uh, we need to create things to do for the people to come. Mm. And uh, one of the things is uh, we, I, they, they are building a new marina for yacht. Yes, that so maybe we can have yacht tourism, yeah. Exactly. These people are mm. extremely rich. They uh, go around the ports in the Mediterranean. They spend big amounts of money, but uh, they need uh, high-end services, high-end hotels, high-end restaurants, uh, shops, all these things, you know. To attract them and if they come definitely you can sell for them uh, more things like uh, you're really in Alamein so you can go and spend a day or two in Cairo or even fly to Upper Egypt so we have more and more to uh, give them but we need to uh, just uh, give them what they want in order for them to, to come definitely the city will take some time to be developed but I I hope uh, these things will be developed even faster uh, so we can bring uh, tourism, whether it's uh, Egyptian or what we are looking for, tourists from all over the world, whether it's from Europe or from Gulf area or from all over the world. Yes. So Yes, uh, Mr. Ahmed, also a high-speed uh, train uh, with the speed of 250 kilometers per hour is to connect uh, the uh, 6th of October city with the city of Al Alamein. To what extent this train will help in facilitating the movement of tourists? Uh, transportation is always uh, one of the main uh, things for any new uh, yes. city to be developed. So having this uh, train uh, will help uh, uh, new Alamein city to be uh, live. You know, people, if, if they find mm. good uh, and fast uh, way of transportation, they will be encouraged to go there and mm. start a uh, new life there. And also will help uh, new Alamein uh, for uh, to have more travelers. You know, people can just have the train and go to New Alamein, spend a day or two or three or whatever, and come back. They don't need to use their cars. And also, uh, tourists, uh, when we start to get uh, tourists from the world, also it will be uh, a good idea for them to use the train. You know, it will be just uh, maybe two hours or three hours we'll be in Cairo, spend the day in Cairo, visit the highlights, and come back in the evening or uh, in the night in Cairo. So definitely uh, it will help uh, Alamein, it will help Cairo, it will help uh, tourism, it will help uh, uh, you know, everyone to uh, promote you know, 
having a good uh, transportation system always uh, a plus and always something very much needed for uh, tourism all over the world. Yes, uh, Mr. Ahmed. Also, uh, the new Alamein City Authority is working in accordance with the strategy meant uh, to uh, promote uh, tourism in this area. Uh, can you tell us more about this strategy? As uh, we have seen that many important meetings are now taking place, many events are taking place in Al Alamein City, especially in the last period, and the many important meetings and conferences are taking place there. To what extent this will help? in promoting for tourism and conference tourism maybe in the coming period? Conference tourism is uh, one of the most important uh, segments of tourism worldwide. And we witnessed this, especially with Sharm uh, el You know, Sharm el now is becoming uh, one of the most famous uh, cities around the world for uh, conferences and conventions. Mm. Uh, we're having the COP27 conference in Sharm el next November. So definitely, and this conference will be covered by all media around the world. So if we have something like this in New Alamein, and uh, with all the events that done, and uh, with all the events that will be uh, going in New Alamein, especially if uh, we're having a concert for international Stars, something you know, uh, three years ago, I think, four years, three years, uh, we had the superstar Jennifer Lopez uh, performing in Alamein. So, and you know, with something with someone that famous, uh, all the media around the world were talking about it, and everybody was asking about the place. And so, of course, these things will help in two uh, directions. One is having. Uh, incoming tourism to this area and respect it and with uh, more and more tourism we'll have more and more hotels and resorts and attractions and you know it will uh, help us to even improve it more uh, much more better and also work as uh, publicity and marketing for this uh, place uh, to the rest of the world so people will be encouraged to come and do their conventions here in uh, New Alamein. So, yes, definitely it, it will help very much. Yes. Uh, so, sir, uh, also, uh, if we uh, talk about Al Alamein city and uh, to what extent this city would change the map of the entire north coast? Uh, as I told you, that north coast was just working uh, two, three months a year. Mm. Uh, but now uh, it will be working throughout the year once it's finished and once it started to be uh, working and people will go and live there and have their work, have their studies, have their uh, life there. Yeah. So uh, this will, and then the rest of the uh, resource around around it and along the North Coast will also benefit from this that uh, people will be encouraged to go there uh, throughout the year. So we'll have more jobs, we'll have more... Uh, yes. So, yes. Area. Yes. Uh, um, also, uh, Mr. Ahmed, if we talk about investors uh, and uh, to what extent uh, this city will be attractive to investors in uh, the uh, tourism field? Uh, it will be very attractive. You know, uh, uh, it will be something like Sharm uh, el and Hergara, uh, where we started that the, the investors are really encouraged to go and invest there because they know their investment will be, uh, return on investment will be uh, very high and very quickly. Uh, so, having more and more events, more and more uh, com conventions there, uh, this will uh, bring more investors and will encourage them to go and build uh, new uh, places. And we already witnessed that uh, in the last uh, one or three years, that the hotels 
in Alamein and around Alamein. Uh, uh, to new, we have to see new hotels, uh, very luxury hotels. So that means investors already uh, know the importance of this place and they started to invest there, which is at the end will be good for the Egyptian economy and will be good for the Egyptian people by having new uh, jobs and new attractions. Yes, uh, also uh, if we talk about the uh, investors from Arab countries, we have seen that many investors uh, from uh, different Arab countries are interested in Al Alamein city and many hotels uh, were uh, built in uh, this area. Do you think that uh, uh, this, uh, uh, the new Al Alamein city will attract uh, more investors from uh, Arab countries or inter maybe uh, other uh, foreign countries? Yes, of course. Uh, if you look at the hotel, uh, yes. that they built and how much they invested in it mm. and the return of the investment and, and, and the booking uh, that these hotels are uh, witnessing and the rate that they are uh, selling with uh, so definitely from an investor uh, point of view this is uh, a very good investment and it will encourage the others to come so definitely we will have and there are already some yes. uh, uh, investors uh, coming uh, to sign new uh, contracts for new uh, hotels. Uh, some of them are uh, from Arab, the Arab world, some of them are from Egypt, and I uh, heard that there are some uh, also international investors that they are interested in this uh, place. Yes. Uh, finally, I'd like uh, to thank you, uh, Mr. Ahmed Badr, tourism expert. Thank you uh, for being with us and uh, the viewers uh, today we talked about a new Alamein city as it uh, the new city of New Alamein promises to be not only a summer retreat overlooking the Mediterranean but also the home to thriving tourism industry, uh, housing compounds all year round and uh, by that uh, the viewers uh, we come to the end of uh, today's edition of uh, Cairo Local Time. Thank you for watching.